Oh, hey there. Welcome to uh, my new shop. No, this is not my new shop. This is Blockhead's shop. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm Modernosity, and today we are gonna be unboxing the Atlas 3.0 from Rue Rock. I, I know I keep making videos in different people's shops. First I was in Chase's shops, now I'm in Blockhead's shop. Who knows whose shop I'm gonna be in next? But uh, today we've got the, well, that's just the Rue Rock logo. We've got the Atlas 3.0. I know you guys have been waiting for this helmet for a long time. You guys know Rue Rock is a sponsor of the channel. We're gonna unbox this thing. Ho hopefully I can get my GoPro set up all hooked up into the helmet and then we can take it out uh, on a short little ride and get uh, some initial feedback. This is the Cinco de Madness. You guys can see, it's not gonna focus on it if I have my eyes in here. And they also have another version of this that has kind of like a purple and pink uh, color scheme on it. But this is one of my favorite designs that they released on this new helmet. Uh, I'm also gonna show you guys Blockhead's liquid carbon helmet that he got. Uh, and uh, you guys can see how you like that thing. Without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, get this thing unboxed here with my handy dandy Blockhead scissors. My 2.0, where is it? Here we go. Okay, so this is the 2.0 Atlas. And this was a really, really nice improvement over the 1.0. Definitely made it feel like a much more premium helmet than the 1.0 was. Fixed a lot of the gripes that people had with the initial 1.0. Uh, for example, the visor, you had to uh, use a special tool. The pads didn't feel as nice as people were hoping for on the inside. Um, those are just a couple of the changes that they made for that. I know a lot of the improvements have already been mentioned. They have an additional shell size. So if you're wearing a smaller helmet, you won't feel like you've got a bobblehead on top of your head. It's also supposed to have even better liner than before. The snaps that they have on the inside of the helmet are supposed to be even better than they had before. That was one of the main things that I don't like about my 2.0 is that sometimes when I take off my helmet, it comes, uh, the padding becomes disconnected. Here we got a uh, pin lock so that your visor doesn't fog up. Okay. Moment of truth, Atlas 3.0. Oh snap, a manual and some stickers. The helmet, so I wear, I wear a size medium helmet and that one, this one feels a little bit smaller than the 2.0, which is nice. I was hoping that however they did the sizing for the shells, that it would end up making my helmet feel a little bit smaller. I don't know if it actually is. I, I, I'm not taking measurements. Just going by the way it feels, it's smaller. This design, y'all. <laughs> I don't know if that I can wear this design with every single bike that I ride. This is sick. Ooh, okay. Right off the bat, the bottom of the, so here we got the 2.0 and we got the 3.0. I can, I mean, I can already feel it. Also, you have a little bit more mesh down here on the bottoms of the, uh, the pads, whereas on here, the soft material that it has kind of wraps around a little bit, and then you have some, I guess, leather uh, siding, edging around the outside a little bit. Feels better down there. I gotta put it on right away. I can't, I can't wait. That's probably gonna fit a little bit tighter because it's a brand new helmet. Oh my gosh. Dude, whoa. Okay, so right off the bat, let me take it off. It feels more compact. I, that may be because of the shell size, but with this, it's a like it's always been a really since the 2.0 at least. It's been a really really comfortable helmet, but you can feel like it feels like a larger helmet. Also, you might have heard it there. That snap came undone, and that, that's an, always something I had a little bit of an issue with. Let me take a look at the rear and see how it snaps in. Okay, yeah, I have to really like pull that out. That's nice. Is this a different material? I don't know what the material is, but this is more of like a, a soft fabric. Whereas this feels more of kind of like a soft, like a soft neoprene kind of material. You know that material they have on like really, really nice, comfortable bike seats? That's kind of what it feels like here. Put you on again. Oh my God, it goes on so easy. It feels so good. The helmet feels so light. So here's the little fit lock. Way better adjustability than I did on the last one. I don't know what, I don't know if they actually made any changes or not. That's good. Oh, solid improvement with the adjustability and just like the comfort inside this helmet. Like I said, it's a it's a brand new helmet, so it's gonna feel a little bit tighter the, like as you wear it and as your head kind of forms into the, the padding. As a brand new helmet, it feels 
perfectly sized. Let me go get Blockhead's liquid carbon helmet real quick so I can show you guys. All right, so here is Mr. Heads. Uh, <laughs> here's Blockhead's liquid carbon Atlas 3.0. So if you guys wanna check out that, Look at that. Every shell is carbon fiber, but obviously most of them are painted. This one is just a clear over the, the carbon, which looks really nice. And then he's got the, the gold visor on here. Obviously he's got his whole GoPro and Bluetooth setup already set up on here. This liquid carbon looks freaking sweet as well. But let me go ahead and uh, get mine set up with all my GoPro action so we can actually record stuff and we'll take it out and uh, test things out. Oh, actually real quick, let me show you guys. So I got, I had the clear visor on here. Here is the blue visor that they have. So we got the smoke visor in here. I believe every helmet comes with a clear and a smoked and then you can buy the colored ones if you want to. Let me go ahead and uh, real quick show you guys the blue. All right, here's the blue. I imagine in, in the sunlight, you'll be able to see this a little bit better, but that looks, that looks really freaking sweet. Also, switching out these visors, it was way better on the 2.0 versus the 1.0. Stupid simple on the, on the 3.0, easy. Also, you have a uh, more adjustability with the positioning on the, on the visor compared to the 2.0, which is one of the upgrades. Uh, but we'll talk about more when we get out on the bike. All righty, here we are inside the Atlas 3.0. <laughs> All right, so right off the bat, I know that the audio is probably gonna sound better than the first time I recorded on my 2.0 because I can, <laughs> the sound of myself inside the helmet is way better than I remember it being. Now, here's the, here's the thing. I've, I spent a lot of time with the 2.0 already uh, and it usually always takes a, a few rides of you know adjusting things and moving things around to really get the perfect audio or the best audio that you can you can from a helmet so if the audio isn't perfect i apologize but i'm, I'm doing my best however right off the bat the uh improvements on the 3.0 are arguably way better or larger more substantial then from the 1.0 to the 2.0, which is saying a lot. Also, I will note that on the 2.0, I'm running the uh, the airflow plugs or whatever, I don't know what they call them, but they, they have these plugs that they make that will plug up the, uh, the spots on the inside of the helmet where the air comes in. If you want the airflow, then you probably don't want to use those, but I use them all the time because it really helps with blocking out wind noise and stuff for the audio that I get inside my helmet or from my microphone. So even though it's nice to have the airflow, especially because the Atlas helmets are some of the like best flowing helmets that I've used before, like so much airflow. Uh, but no, so I was, I was running those on the 2.0. So that could also contribute to however the sound is. Maybe it's outstanding and I'm just saying all this and it means nothing. A lot of the improvements are to aerodynamics and wind noise. A lot of improvements to the visor. Uh, there's no like extra seal. The visor is what they, they call it edge to edge. The other thing is I'm riding a bike with no windscreen. So you all get in the full experience here, but they've done a lot better job of the uh, seal design of how the, the visor sits around the helmet. Let's go ahead and uh, do a little highway pass so you guys can get get that experience on on noise level and whatnot yeah way better also i can i can feel that the aerodynamics on this helmet are way better than on the 2.0 it feels like a much more comfortable helmet and i still i got my stuff on here like i got i got my gopro and usually always that's always a a big hindrance. I gotta tell tell you after putting all my GoPro stuff in here because I gotta take all the pads out and whatnot to wire things, the snaps, oh my god, they are a million times better than the snaps on the 2.0. All right, at 90 miles per hour, I can, I can tell that there's probably uh, maybe a little bit too much wind noise for a microphone. Maybe not, again, first ride, no idea. But working with those snaps was a lot easier and nicer of an experience. I know some of you guys will be 
owning a 2.0 and you're wondering if you should upgrade to the 3.0, a lot of the times it doesn't make sense to upgrade to a new thing when they come out with a new version. But I can tell you now that if you have a 2.0 and you get the 3.0, you're going to be extremely happy. Like if you can justify the cost of a new helmet, you are going to be very happy with the improvements that are on the 3.0. And I'm not just saying that because they're a sponsor to the channel. Like, I'm just so much happier with how this helmet feels. The pads are more comfortable. Like, the material is more comfortable. The helmet feels better sized. Like, even just, like, moving my head side to side and around. Before with the 2.0, it just felt like I... It felt like I was wearing a very large helmet. Uh, not not gargantuan. It, it wasn't really a hassle. But you could tell that the, the helmet was there. This one feels a lot better fitted for my head. The locking mechanism on the visor is also way nicer. I can definitely tell that there's less air actually coming through the edges of the visor too. Maybe it's around the chin curtain, I don't know, but there's less air coming up in front of my face. I'm really excited to get some of the other uh, designs that they have on this helmet. But let me know if you guys have any questions down in the comments. If you're excited for the 3.0, let me know. I'll do my best to answer them. Over the course of the next couple weeks, I'm gonna be refining the helmet setup and uh, just making sure everything's fine and dandy and in the best position for having the best audio in this thing. But we'll see how it sounds right off the bat with the first test. Shout out to Blockhead for letting me ride his MT-09. If you guys wanna see my first ride on this bike, I'll put a link down in the description to that video. If you wanna get the Roo Rock for yourself, I'll put links down in the description. As I said, they're a sponsor for the channel and uh, they've been supporting me for a long time. So I really appreciate it. And I'm really happy with what they're doing. You know, a lot of helmet companies, they're not connected to the community. They're not taking feedback and the helmets that they're releasing are taking years to release. A lot of times it's, they're going four or five years between releases of a, a version of the same helmet. Rear Rock, obviously they, they're at the, at the start. They're at the beginning of uh, the helmet game. But they're listening to the community, they're listening to the people that they're sending out helmets to, and they're taking a lot of feedback and they're seriously making improvements to the helmets that they put out. So I, I'm loving it and I love working with them. You know, if you got a 1.0 or a 2.0 and there's something that you don't like about it, be sure to let me know because that's stuff that I can surface to them. So make sure you're following my Instagram because I'm going to be doing some giveaways for Rurock and for Engine Hawk, their uh, apparel brand. So if you guys want to be, uh, have a chance to enter those giveaways. Make sure you're following my Instagram, at Modinocity. Otherwise, you guys have been awesome. I've been Modinocity. Remember, life's better with horsepower. Keep life lived, and I'll see you guys in the next one.